In today's video, we are revisiting freeze drying steak to see what happens to it, especially with A5 Wagyu, some of the best steak in the world. A while ago when we first got our freeze dryer, we tried freeze drying steak. In fact, I think that was the first thing we freeze dried. I think so. We had Hacksmith here, it's pretty great. Mm -hmm. Yep, James and Ian got to try some freeze dried steak. Ian drank like a half of a steak, which was disgusting. This is a whole new meaning to protein smoothie. Here's the thing, <laughs> we later realized that the oil in our vacuum pump, we think had gone rancid. Sorry, Ian. Here's the basic idea. We're going to try freeze drying steak again, something we did do once in the past. We've cleaned up our machine better and we're trying some fancier grades of steak to see what will happen. I think there was a few problems with our pump and we got all those worked out and now it works great. But then I think a little bit of the oil vapor ended up on the steak. It wasn't great. And we didn't know what had happened. We thought like, oh, is that just how freeze dried steak tastes? But then as that same flavor got carried over into the next like three or four things we freeze dried. Including dried, candy. Yeah, we we're like, I don't think this is from the steak. I think this is something wrong in the process. So we wanted to redo it, but we figured while we're redoing it, we'd also bump things up a notch. You got Wagyu steak. I did. So because I've been in contact with Guga from Guga Foods and sous vide everything for a while, I talked to him and he put me in contact with his contact at Grand Western Steaks, which is the supplier of a lot of very high-end, amazing quality, not just steaks, they've also got like lobster tails and lots of fancy stuff like that if you want foie gras and caviar. A lot of cool stuff. And uh, Emilio at Grand Western was able to hook us up with a couple of these A5 Wagyu steaks. And this over here, these are some grocery store steaks. This one is just labeled as choice, although it looks quite marbled for choice. I think it might actually be prime. This one is supposed to be an American Wagyu steak, which is a cross between the Japanese Wagyu with an American Red Angus. So we're gonna try basically the same thing we did before. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe slightly smaller quantities. I don't think we need several whole steaks. No like we did before. But I think what we can do is cut some steaks in half. We can cook half and yep. then take half raw and freeze dry it all like that. And we can see what happens to these steaks as we freeze dry them. These two, I think we're gonna do the cooking on some charcoal on a barbecue. So let's chop these in half, put half of them on the grill and go from there. You can see how much oil it's just yeah. throwing off of there. It's splattering more than bacon would. All right, that's cooked. Mm. Salt would be good. I'm so happy right now. It falls apart in your mouth, guys. That is amazing. So I'm just gonna cut this up into strips. All right, you wanna grab that plate? I'll grab this thing and we'll uh, get everything cooking. Let's go. Our steak has been freeze dried. Yup. It looks dry, <laughs> definitely looks dry. It is weird to see the differences in the different types of steak. The Wagyu itself looks tremendously different yeah, from compared our to, American. Yeah, compared to these. I wanna try the cooked ones. Yep. Just gonna take some little slices off here. Sure. Now last time we did this, the flavor was not good. That could have been because the oil we think was bad. Well, that particular bad flavor is not there. Mm -hmm. That said, this is still not great. It's kind of like you had a sock that tasted like steak. It's just <laughs> dry and fibrous. It is true, that's fair. I'm going to throw this into this bowl of water and see if it will absorb any liquid and what it may taste and feel like after that. I can't imagine it'll be pleasant. Thank you. This was cooked a little more correctly, I think. That really does look like a very open celled wood. Again, the flavor is great. The texture, confusing as heck. It's so dry. Our fancy steaks with way more fat in them. Yep. Massively different. There's still that dry texture in there, but then there's so much of the oily fat surrounding it. And it's it, cold. And it's cold. Um, 
yeah, the oily fat surrounding it is very different. Okay, if you went to a five-star restaurant and that was like on the side is like a crouton, you would think it was intentional. That's really interesting. So very yeah. noticeably different results. Absolutely. With, uh, with the Wagyu steak. Strangely different. Very strange. Um, it's better. It's much better. There's yep. less of the dry sock texture. Nothing that I've ever eaten on purpose has ever had that texture or flavor. And I kind of love it. This is not absorbing water very well. No. Mm. And it's losing color quick. Now it's like a dry sock with a wet gooey exterior. Oh good. So it's worse. It doesn't rehydrate well, you know? We need to try cooking the uncooked steaks. Our pan is nice and hot. It's outside because we don't want to fill the studio with too much smoke. We've done that before. Yeah, so I think what we're gonna try is we're gonna take one of these steak halves and we're just gonna cook it just as is. And the other one, I wanna try just getting some water on. I'm not even gonna let it soak. I'm just gonna kinda dip it in so that there's a little bit more contact, like steak textured contact. Okay. <clears throat> See if we can cook that. And then we can maybe try one of each with the, the uncooked Wagyu. And then this one I soaked Did in not water. sizzle. I'm shocked. This one's covered in water. So. Dri dipped into water, yes. but not soaking for any period of time. Hey, sizzle. <laughs> water sizzling. Hmm. <laughs> I'm not terribly shocked. I bet that's going to be a very rare steak. So here is a piece of VA5 Wagyu. And this stuff has a lot of fat in it, which may start to melt and render. So let's see how this handles. So this one, same thing, just been dipped in water. Okay, so this is our choice grade, freeze dried raw, and then cooked. It looks like it actually cooked more than I thought it was gonna. Way more, I thought it would like take a lot longer to cook and like be still completely raw on the inside. Now this is like overdone. It is slightly more squishy now. Oh, good. It's just chewier. So now it's dry and chewy. If it were against this and starving to death, I'd be pretty happy. So this is the American Wagyu that we put water on before okay. cooking it. Yes. And it looks like this actually kept it from cooking quite as much as the other one did. Just in one spot. Okay. That one spot is delicious. Dry and chewy with one sort of rare-ish spot in the middle. It's very confusing, but you know it's steak. I think I'm enjoying this a lot more than Nate is. Mm, it's possible. Okay, <laughs> so then we have, this is the strip that was, that was soaking, soaking in water. Yes. For a good amount of time. Oh, that cuts much nicer. So the water I think did something. Mm -hmm. It is overcooked all the way through. I, you know, I'd say that's on me, but I've never. I don't think anybody's ever kind of attempted. Before, so. I mean, we have, but we might be the only people who have. Oh, well, that's the worst yet. I was straight up like chewing wet cardboard. About as much flavor, too. Flavor is gone. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I can't. It was pre cooked, and then we just put it on the. Right. Unless that's the. No, yeah, this is the one that was already cooked. Okay, and I tried heating and it up. Re cooked. And what I've done here is made some sort of monstrosity bacon. Wood dust. Oh, yep. Don't do that. This was a small piece of Wagyu that was um, raw, but it was just a slice of it. A lot of flavor in that, much easier to mm. chew. It's very interesting what the fat difference does. So I think this is the just regular. Yep, it was raw and we raw. put it on the. Cooked it, a lot of oil rendered out. That's quite good. That's like very good bacon. Beef bacon. Yeah, that's delicious. It does still have a little bit of that mm -hmm. fibery chew to it that isn't entirely pleasant. But, but it's much more like it. bacon. Mm -hmm. The flavor is so strong and there's yeah. enough fat to break up and surround all the fibriness that you're just like, oh, I guess that's just the texture it is. <laughs> Same thing except dipped in water. I think the water kills it. Oh, this is still okay. Still okay, still not as good as the other one. I think I like the raw freeze dried and then cooked ones better. Mm -hmm. I agree. They just have that nice smoky flavor and they still taste like a food. Everything else here is a little bit strange. Like, I don't know what this was. The ones we cooked and then freeze dried, mm -hmm. it is strange. It's hard to identify. It has a good flavor, yep. but I, I think I actually like the texture of the ones that we cooked after freeze drying better. The ones we cooked before, it just almost dissolves in your mouth so quickly that it's hard to get much of an experience out of it. 
this you you know it has some chew and if you do or do not like the fiberiness of it that's you know your opinion of what it tastes like but it's a little bit like bacon like i said i keep going back to that but the texture with that little bit of crunch that's what mm -hmm. it reminds me of yeah i like it better freeze dried and then cooked same guys we do have one more wagyu steak in the fridge anything you want us to do with it let us know in the comments below Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new cool stuff coming out. If you don't want to miss it, go ahead and click that button so you subscribe to the channel. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.